It's good to know how to measure the height of a tree or the width of a stream without using any specialized equipment. Pole objects like a flagpole, a tree, a cell tower, or even a telephone pole can be measured quite easily using what's referred to as the stick method. The first thing is to establish a point of reference for a height. A good way is to have someone who knows how tall they are stand right next to the tall object. Here a scout who is five feet tall stands directly in front of the pole. To get a good approximation of the pole's height, stand back and hold a straight stick upright at arm's length in front of you. With one eye closed, sight over the stick so the top of it appears to touch the top of the person's head. Next, move the thumb up or down the stick so the tip of your thumbnail is aligned with the base of the object where it meets the ground. This is measurement one. Now you're ready to lift the stick until your thumbnail is even with the top of the person's head. This is measurement two. With your eye fixed on the point where the top of the stick is positioned on the tall object, move the stick up again, replacing the top of the stick with your thumbnail. This is measurement three. Continue doing this, keeping track of how many measurements it takes to reach the top of the tall object. To calculate the height, multiply the amount of measurements by the height of the person standing next to the tall object. In this case, the scouts determined there were six measurements times five feet each equals a 30-foot telephone pole. Imagine you need to figure out the width of a stream or ditch that you can't walk across. What would you do? Well, again, you can use what's known as the stick method. First, locate a rock or some other object on the far side of the expanse. We'll call this point A. Now, opposite the object on the far side, place a stick on your side of the expanse. Let's call this stick B. Walk along the side of the expanse at a right angle, 90 degrees, taking any number of paces, 10 for example, and place another stick there. We'll call this stick C. Continue walking along the side of the expanse for exactly the same amount of paces and again mark this point with another stick. Let's call this stick D. Finally, walk away from the expanse at 90 degrees to the line formed by sticks D and B. When you can sight a straight line over the middle stick, C, to the object at point A, mark the spot with what can be called stick E. To get the width of the expanse, measure the line formed by stick E and D.